This is very much a hands-on course, so you'll need to set up a test environment to get the best out of it. The main requirement is a web server running PHP 7. At the time of recording, PHP 7 is still in development, so the location of the download site is liable to change. However, you should be able to find where to download PHP 7 using your favourite search engine. If possible, you should also have PHP 5.6 running on a different port or web server. This is because I'll be comparing how the same code runs on the different versions. In the PHP configuration, make sure that display errors is on and that error reporting is set to the constant E underscore all. You should normally do this in the main configuration file php.ini. However, if you're using an installation that doesn't load php.ini, you can create an ht access file if your server is running on Apache. The two commands for ht access look like this php underscore flag followed by a space, display underscore errors followed by another space, and on. Then on a separate line, php underscore value followed by a space, error underscore reporting followed by another space, and then the number. 32767. This is the highest level of error reporting. The versions being used while recording this course are PHP 7 nightly builds from Zend running in Ubuntu 14.04 in a virtual machine on Windows 8.1. For the script editor, I used various builds of the PHP Storm 9 early access program. At the time of recording, PHP Storm didn't have full support for PHP 7 syntax, so the syntax checker sometimes shows false warnings, but the code does work as intended in PHP 7. It doesn't matter which operating system or script editor you use for this course, it's completely platform neutral.